I believe that art is the highest form of human expression. It's what gives us hope in the world. I'm Deborah Maddox, a San Francisco Bay Area artist living and working in Marin County, California. From the time that I was a young child, I always knew that my calling was to be an artist. My earliest memories was with my mom, dad, and sister. After dinner, my sister and my dad, who were both fabulous artists, would sit at the dining room table and do art. When my parents discovered I had such a passion for art, in third grade, they gave me my first set of oil paints. So of course, when I was old enough to go to college, I was an art major. I ended up getting a double degree in fine arts and education because my parents were both teachers. They felt that a teaching degree would be important. And they were right because years later, when I had students of my own as an artist, now I feel like I can really help my students. I have the tools and expertise to teach them art techniques and to help guide them in their artistic journey. So after graduation, I did my postgraduate work at the San Francisco Art Institute with a sole purpose of focusing just on painting. And what inspired me while I was at the Art Institute was really an appreciation for California and the unique weather conditions that we have here. The, the air is so clear and which produces light bouncing off of objects that is so intense and colorful. That paired with the exotic fog rolling over the hills, which never ceased to amaze me, and this mystical and very uh, mysterious atmosphere that the fog creates in the Bay Area, the diffused light. It's very poetic and speaks to me as an artist. My body of work consists of several themes. Figures in motion, diving, dancing, swimming underwater, and aerial performers. My water series has its early roots. As a college student, I spent summers as a lifeguard with hours on end devoted to gazing out at the shimmering water and searching for drowning victims. <laughs> The reflection of the light bouncing off of the water as I sat there and observed, I saw shapes distorted and colors changing. This creates a whole other world, a dimension of calm solitude where the subject drifts into an elevated state of being. Submerged in water, one is free flowing leaving the world's worries up above the surface. The Dancer series provides a visual of kinetic energy. The interaction of the subjects serves as a metaphor of interpersonal relationships. The push and pull of the dance movements between two individuals remind us that relationships are precarious in nature and requires a give and take in order to survive. Another theme that I have explored are people caught unaware in contemplative moments, perhaps in a meditative state of awe and gratitude, or others perhaps caught in an existential crossroad in life. Since most of my work has been figurative, I wanted to take the time to explore the still life motif. But I was really interested in doing still lifes in a non-traditional, contemporary, and expressive way. I would construct and deconstruct the subject and then blend the background into the foreground, playing with color and light. Another non-figurative series that I'm working on consists of empty costumes and dresses once worn by women in the performing arts. The image of 
empty tutus are evocative of the anguish of canceled performances during the pandemic. While longing for audiences, the dancers and performers continue to rehearse and hone their talents while never losing sight of the joy of artistic expression. The costumes are symbolic of the emotional essence of the performers that transcends place and time. It connects with universal artistic strength, power, and creative gifts. My love of dance inspired me to use the emblematic symbol of ballet, the tutu. The tutu as a metaphor of the creative expression and artistic performance. Being an artist has been so fulfilling for me. And I love giving back to others so that they too can experience the joy of the creative process. Please visit my website to see classes that I offer and also to see my latest work. And thank you again for watching my video.